It's the latest sport to get the walking treatment. A lower impact way of staying active while avoiding injuries. This is the first session being held in Bedford at John Bunyan Sports Centre. Obviously, there's the walking element to it, and you're not allowed to, permitted to run in the game. Um, the rules have been adapted slightly. Um, we're playing indoors, so there's ways of scoring by hitting walls, um, and it's a softball game. It's smashed in the mid-off. Mid-off picks it up. He's going to be run out. He's... The last few years have seen various incarnations of cricket come about. Faster, more flashy T20 is designed to bring in the punters. This is slightly more leisurely, though. Meant for over 50s, both experienced and beginner. Have you ever played cricket before? Never. I haven't got a clue what it's about. <laughs> but you're enjoying yourself? Yeah, it's good fun. We heard about the walking cricket and we thought it would be a good opportunity to get out and practice a few skills and have a bit of fun. So I used to play cricket and, um, <laughs> you know, because I'm an older age now, you know, walking cricket sounded a good idea. In recent history, Bedfordshire's produced some quality cricket players. Monty Panasar was born in Luton, and former England captain Alistair Cook went to school in Bedford. This walking cricket club is one of the first in the country and adds to the walking netball and hockey club that are also hosted here. A lot of adults now are sort of trying to get active a bit more, so the walking sports are becoming really popular um, now, don't so there's lots of walking netball, walking football. Um, I had some interest and in some people saying to me about cricket. It's a weekly club with organisers saying everyone's welcome. They hope that soon they'll have enough people to start challenging other clubs. Graham Stothard, ITV News, Bedford.